Hey folks, Quillikeen here, and welcome to some more Let's Play Port Royale 4! <laughs> this is, that was pretty cheesy. Uh, this is a sponsored video by Calypso Media, and we are playing this fantastic, fantastic latest iteration of a classic uh, sea trading, businessy tycoon kind of game. We had a fun little quest here in Port Royale waiting for us. An elderly woman looks in the distance with a scared look. He told me something about an old vessel which he discovered on a coast and he intended to refloat it. That's a long time ago and he should have returned already. I accept this. We have until April 19th to find Hill Smith, apparently near Corpus Christi. So over here in Texas, right there, Corpus Christi. We do have one free convoy, one that's not on a trade route right now. Um, it currently is going to Port Royale. Oh, right, it's got a bunch of cocoa. That should be fine. Let's send up the speed. We'll send you to Port Royale. What's great about this quest here is not only get fame for completing quests, this one will actually give us a free ship if we complete it successfully. Assuming it's the one that I'm remembering, and I think it is. They're free with the captain who increases the speed, which is great. Just arrived in Port Royale. Uh, well, we're not going to sell you sugar. We're not going to sell you rum. Uh, we are going to sell you cocoa, although you already have some in storage. Yeah. Uh, we want to trade as much cocoa away as possible here in Port Royal because that will get shipped back to the Netherlands, which will make the people there very happy. But I don't want to sell it at too much of a loss. All right, let's go to Corpus Christi with this ship. So theoretically somewhere, most likely somewhere along the coast. Do up a little bit of movement, something like this. Most likely somewhere here we will find him. And if we if we if we spot it, it's gonna put a ping on the map and we keep seeing it at that point. Alright, so you're going there. Trade routes are trade routing. That's gonna be okay. Anything from the Viceroy? No, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to satisfy that. My bad. Over to Cook Island. Keep that working well. Uh that's our quest there. How's our ship? Okay, we have arrived on the coast. They will wave by uh, Selena's hometown. Anything? I have actually bad luck finding these people sometimes. Oh! Oh! There he is! We found him! Convoy finds Till Smith safe and sound on the coast, but his vessel is no longer seaworthy. Can you help me, help me to get my vessel afloat again? I will then return to Port Royal and leave the vessel to you, because this old tub has already caused me enough trouble. A few sailors from your crew will help with the makeshift repair of the vessel, then Till Smith will send off for home. There he is. So when he gets to Port Royal, we should simply have a new ship waiting for us at the lighthouse. Staying near the coast, which I guess is a good, safe idea. Must be the way the uh, the AI routes by default, which, I mean, makes sense. It's a little longer, but it's a lot safer than just crossing the, the blue sea. It's not like they had GPS or anything like that. So what we'll do at this point is I'll just right-click my ship to Port Royal. Just, I mean, I don't think I have to escort it or anything like that. I mean, if pirates attacked him, I wouldn't be able to defend him or do anything of the sort. So, you know. That, that's that. You route. Avoid some of the shallow area myself. Already fallen behind a bit because I think I clipped through some of the shallower bits. But that's just going to be the way it's going to be. And there it goes. And I think. There you go. I have a new bark. Worse than its bite. We have a new bark. We can make a new convoy. Beautiful. All right. What are we going to do with all this? Well, I was thinking Crooked Island expanding it might be nice. It does have wood. Which we could use for various things, especially with Andros here. Um, what I was thinking, there's a couple of English towns here. One's got brick, one's got brick and wood. You know, you want to trade with the English? Well, at some point, kind of, sort of. And getting getting basic construction material is so useful. The trade licenses are getting more expensive, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. Hints as to things we might want to trade over here. Oh, another good place for a hint is your advisor over here will let you know if the town situation isn't right. You're missing metal, for example. Actually, not metal. You're missing... Oh, you're missing uh, tools? Not metal, but metalware. Where can we find metalware? That is going to be one of our questions. All right, we've got this new ship, the Albatross. I'm going to set up a little thing... Uh, with Andros and Tortuga and Isabella, I think. I think that's going to be a good idea. Create a new route. We'll have you uh, start in Andros. I mean, the wind currents aren't going to really make a difference because either way, we're going to do the same amount east-west. So go to Isabella, then Tortuga, and then we'll come back that way. That's going to be okay. 
and just set up some standards here. Okay. Um, actually, hold on. I'm going to make a slight change. Slight change. You're going to go Tortuga, then Isabella. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Crooked Island. Because Crooked Island still needs probably more brick than maybe just Andros can provide. Tortuga. Oh, wait. Andros to Tortuga to Isabella, then up to Crooked Island, and then back to Andros. That's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Uh, we'll assign this new ship that we just got to this route, and that should be fine. I think just the one is going to be more than enough. So we still have this one. Let's see if we can sell more of the cocoa, um, if the prices have reset themselves a little bit. Uh, yeah, there we go. I think some shipments went off to the Netherlands. Sell nearly the entire load at a good profit, which is nice to see. All right. I don't know what we're going to set up next for some of our trade. Andros has insufficient living space again. We are waiting for yeah, the metalware. Okay, where can we get metalware? I don't need to pause really that aggressively. Um, um, well, there's Santiago, although Santiago doesn't produce its own metal. I'm actually wondering, can we get... Yeah, we've got enough fame for this. Let's do this. Let's get rum, because who doesn't want rum? Let's get the forge. And over in Puerto Padre, which does have metal, let's set up a metalware business. We're going to get a building permission. Already trading this area and everything. Metalware. Uh, so ideally, yeah, it would like to be near houses because it'll have employees. Um, or near one of the mining sites. Either way is going to be okay. I'm going to set it near the mining site because we might build some more houses over here. Sort of what I'm thinking. I'll just build the one for now because we actually don't have that many workers available and there's a little bit of material missing, although it should get delivered at some point. Um, that should be okay. And actually quite a few resources. Out of the way. It does have coffee. Also does produce hemp and rope, which is a nice combo. Because you need the hemp to make the rope. No, I might want to leave this guy as a free agent. I guess we'll get a trade license here anyway. Send you to Trinidad. We're going to want trade licenses most places at some point regardless. We'll send you to Trinidad. We'll just do a little bit more manual trading and we'll keep an eye out for various missions that might pop up. So over here, um, it's another place that sells sugar. Seems like that's everywhere. Buy some hemp and some hemp and rope. What else you got? And you've got some coffee. And, well, some pastries. Love pastries. All right, we'll just kind of manually peter back home and see what we can do. Uh, there's a mission not out. You want meat. I'll accept it. I'm not sure if there's a penalty to failing tasks. Um, you don't have a lot of time to do it. You're definitely going to look for some meat to purchase. We're going to sell you a little sugar. Uh, we can sell you some of this. Some of that. I guess that's fine. You do produce meat here. Uh, I think this is only going to be about half what we need. metalware. I'm going to drop a bunch off of that into Andros. And some tobacco might make some people happy as well. Uh, I'm not going to buy any more pastries. Expensive. There's not always that much of a demand for it. Tortuga, what do you want? You want cloth. Yeah, well that's another big challenge too. Any meat vendors over here? Getting meat to Nassau is actually going to be very challenging. Okay, Havana. Let's see if Havana might have enough for us. Um, you need a total of what? 85, and I've got 40. So I need to buy another 45 in Havana. Um, when do we have until? June the 2nd? Okay, I've got enough time. I might be willing to take a loss because it just helps us. Oh, no, you only have 20. 
blah, blah, blah. And I don't have a trade license. Let's go ahead and get it, because we want it at some point. Hmm. Hmm. Bunch of rum. Sell a bunch of hemp. some fruit pies. Not much, though. Buy a few tiny things, some luxuries, various description. What we can do with that. Uh, let's try to make it to Port St. Joe, then over to Nassau. Hope we can get enough meat there to finish things. In the second, I think we'll have enough time. We will need a trading license. Thirty grand. There we go. Eighty-five. Actually, I can buy more before the price goes up. Swell. My inventory is pretty full. I'm sure there's some stuff. Load though. Coffee. A bit of tobacco. Metals, just try not to go too deep over here. A little fancy clothes. Value some little tarts. Excellent. Sell that. Sell a few of those. Okay. Let's book it to Nassau, please. We've got meats to sell. So we complete the mission June the 2nd. Yeah, we'll get there in time. Okay. Woo! Wasn't sure. Battle of Flores. English expedition to the Azores led by Sir Walter Raleigh. Pro proves to be extremely successful. The series of battles with Portuguese and Spanish ships reaches its pinnacle when the Carrick Madre de Deus is boarded and captured during a long naval battle off the coast of Flores Island. The cargo of the ship itself has a financial value equal to half the annual income of the English crown. I do love these historical little events that happen as we go. Nassau, you wanted meat. I will sell you... At least 85 meat. Boom! We got some fame. We also got a new tactic we can use in some military operations. They're just basically like little one-shot cards. They're very they're very useful. They they mix up the combat a lot. They keep they make it very interesting. I I like that idea in terms of adding variation to your tactics. Fairly profitable there. Close as well this fruit pies too we can sell you some tiny luxuries excellent okay that's pretty good now the other thing we've got now is we've got quite a few new towns that we added trade routes for that um we don't or we have trade licenses for that we don't have trade routes for so i'm going to actually add a few more then my ship over here we're going to create a new trade route for you i'm going to create a new one uh edit um i still really want to have andros in this because I want it to continuously get like various resources. Maybe we'll skip Tampa on the way back. We'll, we'll stop in the Florida Keys um, and then Andros over here. Florida Keys, Andros. You from there and then go there. And I think that's going to be okay. Like this. Because growing my personal city is a high priority. We're going to confirm that and assign you to the route and that's going to be okay. Now, one of the things in Andros is there's a limit to how much stuff we can store in here. Because anything that gets delivered by our ship just goes to the market, right? And it does act like a bit of a buffer. But what we may want to consider at this point is a uh, warehouse. So, with a warehouse, I'm going to build that. We'll need some material, but hopefully it'll come in. Um, the other thing we should get is an inn, which gives us more workers. Um, a market, more things can be stored in a the market. These are all things that are going to be very important in our capital. We've got money, which is great. Uh, we might want an architect for later. Oh, we need a church because our town is limited to 2,000 people without a church. So we're getting close to that. Let's do it. We do still need more housing as well. Maybe I should have prioritized that. Although, there's a residential area that's going to finish relatively soon, so that should hopefully be okay. But yeah, we definitely got the complaint for these things. You need bricks and things, which theoretically will get delivered at some point. We will see. A mission here. What is this? 
Ooh. Well, well, well. Hang on a sec. We've got a map available. Let's we're gonna purchase uh, some used ships. Um Oh that's a character, it's a warship. Uh some barks. What I'll do is I'll get a pair of them. And put them in one in one little convoy. Since we are here, we may as well trade with Port Royale. Pick up a few things. Port Royale, it's right there in the name of the game. Nice that it's our capital this time. Interesting, it produces rope but doesn't have any rope. Maybe because it's out of hemp. Port Royale doesn't actually produce its own hemp to make rope. So we're going to come over here. But we're going to spend 15,000 bucks on a map fragment. Just have to have a ship nearby. I could have grabbed one of the convoys that was doing trade stuff, but this seemed to be faster and I wanted a new ship anyway. So we're going to spend money and get our first map piece. Ooh, it's all water. Well, that's not a very helpful map piece. But eventually we can find treasure, leads to statues and things, which increases our fame. Um, all right, so we've got this. I definitely want to set up a few more trade routes. What does Isabella want? Cloth. Yeah, do we have... Hmm... What I'm thinking we might do on Cat Island, because we grow cotton there, I think we should get a clothing industry. Grand Bahama, Bahama has a, a, a weaver, but doesn't actually have its own cotton. We could do a little trade to do that, either from Cat Island to there or Mosquito to there, but I'm actually wondering, on Cat Island, I'm going to get a building permit. And we've already got the weaving technology unlocked. Let's build... A weaving mill. Just one to get started. Okay, don't want to overload the um, things. Uh, that was the cloth. So, I mean, I don't know if I need to... I should accept this. I don't think we're going to be able to get enough cloth to finish that deal. I'm actually wondering about a little trading run around here. But, okay, so we made a warehouse in... Uh, well, it's not built yet. we got to come back to the warehouse once it gets built. But we got to talk about how the trade works uh, with the warehouse. Let me buy some extra licenses here and here. We're going to set a new trade route up. Um, edit route. What we're going to do... We're going to make a run of the island. Go around. Um... No, I think I want you to go. Go. Boop. Boop, boop. Then over there. Because what I'm going to do, especially with the warehouse, is I'm really going to treat Andros as a central stockpile for all the resources we might want. So if that gets built still under construction okay it is progressing it's got all the material it needs which is good still complaining about living space um yeah let's go and construct a little bit more is uh we'll get you over here and there and there and chapel could definitely reach a few more houses maybe if we put it right there that would be an okay one uh we probably also want some hospitals to limit how much plague we get I didn't realize it was that much money. I'm like, why can't I plop it down? I have cash. Turns out, not enough money. Okay, that's fine. So, quite a bit of construction, but it's going to be worthwhile. We actually have no um, no free ships right now. Ooh, we actually ran out of money completely because of purchases here. Now, once they make some sales, it should be okay. But not having this much money left in my coffers is actually impeding the trade because our ships aren't able to buy everything they would like to buy. But it should be fine. I mean, we're sitting on like a half a million bucks a second ago. So I think we're going to bounce back perfectly okay. Uh, lots of uh, AI traders as well as military ships buzzing around here. Money's coming back up. We can take a look at our company balance sheet as well. Um, last four quarters over here. You can see our expenses. Lots of purchasing happening, which is then going to get sold. Uh, but yeah, construction, new buildings and things. Done and done. Yeah, we're going to get to do some plundering at some point. Hmm. What we really need is a war to break out. That would be so convenient. All right, we're back over 100 grand, which is great. Uh, you, small warehouse is built. Okay, so what's going to happen now? 
all of our businesses and 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 i think our ships as well i'm not sure are going to drop things into the warehouse instead until the warehouse fills up completely in which case it will then go to market um and we can see that behavior you can see actually in our warehouse we have 500 units of grain now it's going there um this is 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 really convenient in terms of our uh our, our industry buildings because they will always be producing and they don't have to worry about selling for crap and they can sell at a better time or get picked up by our ships so this adds a big buffer to things what we can also do here is we can enable trading so if we do this then our warehouse will automatically uh, buy and or sell goods to the market when the prices are appropriate oh we're at war with france now hold on we got to pause that and keep an eye on things we are at war with france so by setting this, what's going to happen is um, mostly currently the selling. Right now, we're holding on to a minimum of zero. We're, we're fine with keeping zero goods in our warehouse right now. Um, and basically, anytime the price is at least 100% of the normal price for a good, it's going to sell it. We could uh, change this number, like so. It'll update this. We can uh, automatically put some numbers in there as well. But this seems okay. As long as the price, if they, as long as things sell for full price, we will accept it and we'll try to sell down to zero. We could also put a purchase order in here. So by default, it's setting it to 80. So it would like to sell, uh, it would like to buy resources if they're less than 80% off. And what we could do is we could put a limit, like something like this. Like, hey, try to keep at least uh, 50 of everything in here, but only buy if it's less than 80% of its normal price. Uh, and you can see here, it also is a minimum. Obviously, we're not going to fight. If if we're buying up to 50, we're not going to sell down below that, especially since we'd be, um, well, actually, we'd be turning a profit. But the idea is keeping a buffer. Now, we may not want a buffer for everything. We might be more interested in a buffer for things that we need for our business, or we might be interested in construction material. Like, it actually might be a really good idea to not sell below 50, or buy up, buy, and you Here's the thing. We might want to buy everything when it's cheap. Honestly? I kind of like this idea. Anything that's 80% or that's 20% off, we may as well buy some. It'll sit in our warehouse here and then trade ships, because we can tune all this, trade ships will be able to pick up from our warehouse before they buy from the market. And that's not a terrible idea. It helps us stabilize prices, make sure we always have some resources, and will help with the flow of things as it goes through. So back up to 200,000 bucks, which is nice to see. I can upgrade the small warehouse to a full-size warehouse, which we're going to do. We can upgrade the hostel to a proper inn. Um, and this is because our, our town is of a sufficient size to be able to do something like that. Um, our housing situation has improved. It's still pretty packed. We're going to build a little bit more housing here. Uh, we need a tavern over here. In fact, I'm going to build it here. I think we got all our money back, right? Yes. Tavern. Oh no, most of these are already covered by a tavern. Chapel? No? Okay, we're good. Because I can go over here. It'll still cover those two. And then these buildings here. That's that's as much cash as I've got. These buildings, uh, residences here, will get the benefit from all those things. And you really want the tavern and chapel because it dramatically multiplies how much housing you've got. Because I think, what is it? Oh shoot, my ships! Yeah, let's um let's cancel this trade route. Um let me actually just delete the trade route, I think. So if we open up their list of trade routes, we can actually see where they go. So this is Andros Nassau. I'm gonna delete that route. Okay, I don't want any of my merchant ships to come near any French towns. Florida Keys is gonna be the closest. I think that's okay. You, I'm just gonna send you off over here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do more trade. Well, we have no money anymore. Um, we'll do more trade on the north coast. The French fleet was still following us. I don't have enough money to buy a war fleet right now. So your civilian ships... Oh, there was a bunch of Dutch warships going over here. Maybe attacking the Florida Keys. More battle going on. More battles over here. Uh, Island Seoul. It's coming to Grand Bahama that way. Um, let's edit this route. Not going to be as quick. Compare the time, by the way. So you can see the duration. Actually, it actually is faster to have the route go over this way, as it turns out. And it keeps us away from the French town. So let's update this route for safety. There we go. That's really quite good. I'd love to participate in some of these battles, but we are not ready for warfare. 
at all. Um, what I might do, I think I'm going to get a second license for a captain so we can hire another one and be ready later on. It'd also be handy. Okay, we can get at the Carrick unlock through this region. Let's do that. Okay, carpentry. Um, let me save the last fame point because we might want to take over a town which needs that. Captain, level one. Love your hair, but you're only level one. We're going to wait for someone with a little bit more experience. Girl, little girl sitting sadly on the shore. Oh, I want your daddy back. Where's your daddy? Um, in the area. It's north of Crocus. Crocus is down here, right? I can cart hand. Where's Caracas? It might not be on the coast here at all. Nope. I, it must be one of the islands. Oh, I guess I can mouse over things too, but... Hmm. I don't remember where Caracas is. Oh, there it is! Okay, so her daddy should be somewhere over here. Um, you know what? This is a swell time. Let's get another ship. Seems like the, the easiest, fastest way to do things. Let's get another vessel uh, from the shipyard. Nice to get a warship, but let's just get a bark. Put it into a convoy. Well, there is still you as well. I forgot about that. Hmm... Come down to Crocus. Let's do the same thing. We're going to queue up a bunch of moves right along the shore here. Hopefully, we spot him somewhere over there. Well, you, you have no goods. Oh, you still do have some. So you didn't all get stolen by the, uh, the pesky French. That's good to know. A little trading maybe with it? Sell you for a few bucks. Oh, all of you. Bunch of rope. Meat. Coal. Oh, I don't actually have coal. It's this I have. Uh, some cloth. We did have a cloth mission, but now. Nah. You know, just because the game gives you a mission doesn't mean you have to go for it. I need to automate something here. Oh, you want coal? Didn't I just sell some coal? Then we can get coal. Okay, we can get coal from Crooked Island. The other nice thing is if you have a warehouse, you can buy things um, remotely. Okay, they've got enough coal over here. We need 55. They have 69. So we can buy, we can sell, buy and sell things in Andros without a ship there because we can just store it in the warehouse. I need 55 coal, please. Thank you. Let's buy some rum. Hemp. Some wood. Done. Okay, you're full, which is fine. Come over here. I'm going to sell some coal to Barracoa. Meanwhile, there's a battle. Where's the, where's the girl's father? North of Krakus. North. Okay. Might be near one of these little islands. Yes, no, maybe so. Maracas? Hmm. Maybe this one? Mission complete! More fame? Excellent. All right, let me keep you parked there for a second. I don't know, you guys. I mean, it feels like if something's going to be north of Crocus, this one here almost makes the most sense. I don't think we're going to find him. I click it just brings me here. Hmm. 
Well, let's let's go further north. Maybe he's out to sea. Maybe sharks got him. Oh well, what's your new task over here? Well, let her mark fighting France. Yeah. This would give us the ability to attack French ships, but I guess we could buy a military ship. We've got some money. Let's do it. Letter of Mark. Plunder merchants and sink the military convoys of our enemies. Plunder 10 trading convoys by September the 8th. All right, well, we'll see what we can do about that. First thing first, we need some military ships. So, first of all, is there a used one for sale still? There is a Carrick available. It's actually the only used ship available. It costs a quarter million, and it requires one fame point. It also needs two command points to pilot, so we're going to do that. Um, so that's, first of all, step one. We can have... Ooh, the Gwendolyn convoy sounds great. It can't move without a captain. Military ships work a little bit differently. They need a captain to be able to move. We're going to go and assign Lillian here. Unassign, reassign. She's got four command points. This ship takes up two. So we could max it out by having two more another we can have another carrick or two frigates for example would be a way to do it um right now i'm gonna go with just her as is and i can't do a real fight here that is definitely the case we can't do any real combat um so what we're gonna do is try to avoid all military ships Ooh, plague in london 10 percent of people died and bring the speed down to speed one what we're looking for is a French... We're looking for French merchant ships. Very long vision. They'll probably be running along the coast here be, to trade between the towns. We have to be ready to turn around if we see a military ship. Oh, we go slow in the uh, the shallows here. In deeper water. Ah! Treasure fleet. Okay, they're not going to engage me because they have all the money. They would be very powerful for us to fight. We don't want to engage... Oh, you know what I, I just realized? I don't have any sailors. That... Well, I guess it doesn't matter since I'm not going to do any real fights. Uh, you don't want to do any fights when you don't have sailors because your ship... So, your ships always have enough sailors to just operate. But, fight efficiently, you need extra sailors. That's what we don't have. There we go. French merchant. Go, go, go. These guys will not fight because they can't. They have no troops, no military strength. We're simply going to plunder them and steal their stuff. So we stole 250 units of cotton. We got some fame for that. What you can do is go and offload it somewhere. Drop it off maybe in Havana here, just because we may as well book our profit. As much as we can and still... I mean, we sold it for... We, we, uh, we, we got it for nothing. So I guess we could just dump it direct. That's okay. While I'm here, I'm going to pick up some sailors. We're still not going to be full. We need a lot more. The best way to do that is actually in your Viceroy's town. Because in your Viceroy's town, you basically have unlimited sailors. Because that's where all the immigrants from the old world come. Now, if we take a look at our tasks here. We even had a uh, plunder trade convoy. So we got one of 15. That is not what we want to see, though. That is not at all what we want to see. Get the hell out of there. That was a French military fleet. We would get obliterated instantly. Get more ships, we might be able to do it. Beautiful. We're going to plunder you. You did not have much on you, but that's going to have to be okay. I don't think we've got enough to make it worthwhile. You can use the patrol button. What happens, your ship parks there, and you'll see there's a little circle. It'll automatically engage enemy ships within that radius. But here, I don't want to set up that kind of blockade. We could actually blockade a town as well. Uh, we could... They're not that powerful. If we had more... How much money do I have? Eh... Uh, no vessels there. We could order some. Probably... I'll order a frigate. We could have another one afterwards, but it's still going to be a little while. Oh, yeah, you're still just parked over here. Um, I should just assign you to a trade route right now. I don't really care necessarily which one. I want to cycle through the trade routes here. Oh, this one doesn't... Money is loot. Um, 
For revenue per day, this is currently the best one. Maybe what I'll do is I'll assign you to this. We'll take distribute so they spread out properly. And we'll just keep this one busy for now. We'll try to uh, deselect you later on. Um, I have you too. Eh, okay, hold on. If, oh, run away, run away, run away. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to Port Royale. We're going to pick up that extra ship. In fact, we'll be able to queue up another frigate in a second. And we're going to make sure we pick up lots of sailors as well. And we're going to go, because those those that fleet there with like two pips in its bar, that is definitely something we could take care of. One here, we're going to ignore you. We need some uh, ships to finish some trading. There's there's one right there. Uh, let's leave the money in for a sec. I mean, it's still constructing, so it's not like I have to rush it. Nearly done. I want enough of a cash reserve so that my trade fleets don't suddenly run out of capital to purchase resources with. I mean, eventually they would sell some stuff they've got on them, but I need to keep a floating amount here, ideally. Hoping for more... More cash influx as is. Dump all this because, again, we didn't, didn't pay for any of it. Uh, we're going to max out our sailors. That's one thing. We've got a few more days before this finishes, so queuing up another one isn't necessary yet. Cash flow doesn't seem to be as good as it, one would like, right? Hmm. Well, there we go. Some things are, are kind of coming around to it. Let's take a look at our stockpile here. Um, where? Right there. There you go. 100 of that in storage. Yeah, mostly not accruing things. I think that's set up okay. Hopefully it's set up okay. You've got, you've got some extra workers kicking around. You can definitely produce some more stuff. Uh, although I want to spend it on ships, right? Yeah, I'm going to spend it on ships. So there we go. You're constructing that. We're going to go and order. Oh, let me check. No use ships? No. So we'll order a second frigate. Corvettes as well, which are pretty good. Lower? Yeah, but we'll, uh, yeah. The frigate's in here for firepower. So that will be the extent of what my captain can do. And that'll be a pretty decent little fleet, I would say. To maybe bop some of the less well-equipped French patrols. Now, by the time we come back, and we are going to put a cut in here, it's possible that the war with the French will end. These things come and go all the time. Uh, maybe a pirate will be there at that point. Maybe not. We'll just go and park the ships for a while so they don't cost us too much money. Because these things are pretty expensive per day, as you can see here. It's definitely adding up. Um, we're definitely turning a profit on the sales. Wages of workers. Construction of buildings. Yeah, see, we would have turned a profit last quarter uh, if it wasn't for all of our... Um, construction of buildings and purchasing of vessels so yeah we are we are actually sort of overall in the green we're just investing our capital in more sort of structures which is a good thing assuming we don't suddenly lose this fleet what does cat island want 55 hemp that actually shouldn't be too hard to do well what i'm gonna do is we're gonna put a cut in here next episode come back maybe we'll get to do some proper fighting thanks for watching folks again check the description in the uh or check the links in the description box down below for more information as to where you can get this game I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.